What is going on my dudes? Tasha here back again with another Genshin Impact video and if you guys like the content please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and as always please comment below what you think about this video. Now today we are going to be talking about Yalan and what you need to do to get her ready for when she comes out. Now obviously like as I've said before when it comes to this stuff uh, I know that this is going to be kind of you know a little bit like oh we only have a week to get this done because as of right now, from what I'm understanding, we are getting version 2.7 on the 31st, which means that we only have one week from the release of this video to get this stuff done. Now, of course, we've had plenty of time beforehand to get all the stuff, but just in case you guys don't know and you guys want to, you know, start working on it this week, this is the video for you to find out what you need for Yalan. So let's go ahead and take a look now. As you can see here, we got my, you know, account and everything that's going on here is basically going to pertain to Yalon. Sorry, I said Yalon earlier, but yeah. Anyways, the first thing that you're going to want to work on is obviously these little crystals right here, or as we call them, you know, the uh, Lazarus or Verundas or however you want to say it. But they're the ge gems that you're going to need to level up your characters. So you're going to need a total of, and, you know, pardon me, if I uh, get these wrong, my apologies. You're gonna need a total of one of these Lazarus Silvers for the Hydro, and that you can tell by the color. Uh, for the Fragments, you are going to need nine. For the Chunks, you're going to need nine. And for the Gemstones themselves, you're going to need six. Now you see that I got a little bit of an overabundance, but that's because I was also working on other characters and yeah. Um, but yes, you're going to need all those to get Ye Yelon to level 90. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to worry about is, of course, the boss material, which is going to be these runic fangs. Now, these runic fangs come from the ruined serpent that's in uh, the chasm, sorry, the underground chasm, which you could see right uh, through here. Let me go ahead and take a look at the map really quick. If you go to the chasm underground mines, there he is right there. He's at Serpent's Cave, you know. If you haven't unlocked this yet, I highly recommend that you do this week. So that way you can actually get these materials if you're going for Yay Lawn. So there's that, obviously. Now, the next thing that you're going to want is right over yonder here. Let's see. You're going to want to get 168 Star Conches. Now, Star Conch is a, uh, I would say, leeway specialty, but I've seen it. I've seen it on the bridge of Leeway and Mondstadt, so you want to get 168 of these because you will need 168 in total to get her to level 90. And then, of course, one of the last things that you're going to need uh, are these right here, these, sar these Recruit Sergeants and Lieutenants Insignias. These you get from Fatui. So if you haven't defeated enough Fatui to get these all done, you know, you're going you're gonna to want to get this done ASAP. So for these, you're going to want, uh, from what I'm seeing here, if I did my calculations correct, you're going to want 18 of these, you're going to want 30 of these, and you're going to want 40, I think that is? Yeah, 40. You're going to want 40 of these. So I am one away, but honestly, as you can see, I have an overabundance. I'm not all that worried. So, uh, and then of course, you need Mora, which, you know, we'll get to the overall Mora once we get to the, uh, the talent section. Now, let's go ahead and actually talk about talents. You're gonna want the Prosperity Books because she is a Leeway, you know, character. You're going to want these Prosperity Books right here, which is perfect because there's an event going on right now to help you with these books, which is Overflowing Mastery. And this is basically, you use 20 resin, however you want, however you want to, 20 energy, whatever the hell. I, I say resin, obviously, but you want to use 20 resin and you'll get double the rewards three times. So instead of using, you know, your, um, uh, what you call it, your condensed resin, you could actually use the 20 regular resin and get 40 resins worth of materials. So you're definitely going to need that for these books. Now, when you're looking at these books in total, or in total, this is what you're going to be looking for. You're going to want nine of these green books, obviously, the teachings of prosperities. You're going to want 63 of the guide to prosperities, and you're going to want 114 of the philosophies of prosperity. So again, nine, 
63, 114. That's to get all of her talent levels maxed out. So triple crown. But if you don't want to triple crown her, there is nothing wrong with that. Uh, you could get these materials in other ways, obviously. So, next thing. You're going to want, uh, from what I'm seeing here, more of these recruits and uh, sergeants insignias. So, as I said before, I have uh, overabundance, but let's go ahead and talk about how many you're going to need in total outside of the norm. So, with these talents, you're going to want 18 of these, you're going to want 66 of these, and you're going to want... Uh, let's see 93. There we go 93 of these ones. So again, I have more than enough For myself, so make sure you're farming these as you go along And then of course you're gonna want uh, like how every other character You know needs one of these types of materials. You're gonna want to get the glide or gilded scale I don't know why I said glided gilded scale and you're gonna want 18 of these now as you see I only have 12 but I have more than enough of the other ones and I'm not gonna be you know crowning any other leeway characters at this time so this actually works perfect for me i can you know turn these into the gilded scales and if you don't know how to do that you're going to come over here and you're going to go to crafting station and then you're going to go over to this set or sorry over to this section and you could literally go on like you know let's say gilded scale right here you have to make sure that you have a multitude of uh where are they i'm trying to there we go. You're going to want to make sure that you have a multitude of Dream Solvent, which you get from boss battles or the weekly bosses. So make sure that you're doing this to get these. Uh, they're perfect for what you need them, especially since I need 18 of these and I have 16. So I need six more. So that'll put me down to 10 and I'll be perfectly fine. So you want to make sure that you have 18 of those boss mats. And then of course, three crowns. Now, the last thing you're going to need is Mora. We all know that this game runs on Mora. In general, let me get to some place where I can actually see how much Mora I'm going to need to use. All right. In total, as you can see in the corner of my screen, I have 12 million Mora. You're going to want to have 7.1 million Mora in total to get your character from level 1 to level 90 and triple crown. And that's for Yaelon. So... Every character is going to need about 7.1 million Mora. But let's say if you don't want a triple crown, you're basically using about 5 million Mora to get Yelon's talents up. So if you just want to get her to level 90 and only work on talents, you're going to need about 2 to 5 million Mora in general, depending on how high you want to go with her. But a lot of your Mora consumption is actually going to come from the later talents, like level 9, level 10, you know, all that kind of stuff. So... Just make sure that you, when you're looking at what you want to do, if you're wanting to triple crowner, you got a lot of grinding to do in total. So, and then of course, artifacts. I'm not going to go into the artifacts because I need something to talk about in the next video. But that is to get your Yelon from level 1 to level 90 triple crown. Now again, you don't have to do exactly everything like that. And sorry for the play right there. Don't worry about the play. Um, but you don't have to like triple crown her there's no there's no like reason to unless she's one of those characters that you want to triple crown like myself uh and what i mean by crowns uh basically you get crowns for certain events and they'll give you like one every couple events and it's it's pretty much worth so but if you want to get her to her max capacity you got a lot of grinding to do she comes out on the 31st and as of this recording it is the 22nd as of this video's release it's going to be the 24th so you have a full week to get Yelon done. And then, of course, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you could always comment down below on this video. Or you could even ask me on Twitter or even in my Discord. All the links that you need uh, to get a hold of me or any other Genshin community member that's a part of this community as well. You know, the Dice Heads family. You could go ahead and, you know, message us on the Discord. We're all over the place. So... That's going to do it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And as always, guys, we will catch you guys in the next video. Take care and be safe. Love you.